How's it going, guys? Welcome back to Felsburn Horse Ranch. Yeah, hey, buddy. How you doing? And look what we got here. We have a riding arena. Isn't this awesome? This is fantastic. Um, this is my new area for training my horses. Hey, you ready to go, bud? Let's do it. Let's do this. Um, we're going to be taking a real easy. This is, I think, one of my newer horses. No, this is one of the old ones. This is Leonardo. That's right. We've had this one from the get-go. Take her easy on Leonardo. He's getting old. <laughs> this is a little bow. Uh, I think I got supposed to go around this one, right? I think. Uh, I don't know. Jump. Oh, that was way too early. Oh, I'm not going to make that corner. All right, and over, and then all the way across. All right, all right, good job. Good job, buddy. Anyways, guys, so that there is the new horse ranch riding arena. Pretty cool. We use that to train our horses and work with our horses and level them all up. Pretty cool, I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> uh, let me show you what else we've done around the farm here. So, we've had a bit of time, it's been a couple of days since uh, we last checked in. And uh, we've had some time to do a little bit of work around the farm. Um, not a lot yet, to be honest. we still got that one field that we harvested, the oat field, needs to be, needs to be reseeded. Um, I'm loving the John Deere's, thank you DJ Goham, oh, that is awesome. The old twins over here. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to need to move those out of here, I think. It's just a little too tight in this area, and I think I just going to leave the uh, normal tractors in this area. So I want to move those to a new spot. I'll show you where their home is going to be. But we've managed to... Oh, oh, oh. Once again, I'm stuck on the light posts. <laughs> so we've done a little bit of work in our shed here. You can see we paved everything into the shed. That looks pretty good. We've got like a little roadway path in here. And then back over here at the back of the cow barns. Let's get all the way to the back here. There we go. So we're gonna have like an auxiliary shed area back here. So this is where we're gonna be putting the combine. Um, I don't know what else we're gonna put back here quite yet. I'm thinking maybe a few things. Stuff that takes up room that, or quite a bit of room that we don't use all that often. So uh, that's why that trailer's back there for now. Anyways, so that's where all that stuff's gonna go. But uh, we'll get to that later on. I'm not gonna worry about too much about that yet. We don't have the room for that yet. But like I said, we do need to get some bigger trailers. We need to get a way of delivering milk. Um, yeah, that's going to cost us some cash. <laughs> but I've got some horses to go take back. So that's going to get us a little bit of money right off the bat. We're going to do that old swap. But the horses are worth about 100 grand right now. So let's get on with that. Let's go uh, make some money. Uh, let's go put this horse back. I forgot about that. We'll put the horse back and I will see you guys in two short seconds. Pitter patter. Clutch simulations. Alright folks, so to get started today, we need to take care of that uh, one field that we had on oats in our last episode. Um, we got the 7R here, we're going to cultivate first, we just limed that field. So she needs to be cultivated and then we can sow, or plant I should say. Um, I think I'm going to go with sunflowers in that field, at least that's my current plan. Um, We'll see here. We need to get this cultivator hooked up. Dude, I am digging this whole setup I got in here. I love this little implement area and equipment area. This is so cool in here. All right. So we're going to go take this all over there and get to work. Um, and you know what else? This here area, I drive down here all the time. So I need to figure out something better. This is not what I want to have in here. I want to have a road. We're gonna see if we can make a road in here. I don't know if it's gonna work, but it's worth a shot. All right, so here is the field. Yeah, this is gonna be all right. It shouldn't take us too long to cultivate this. We got a pretty big cultivator, so um, yeah. Looks good. Looks good. Perfect. Look at that. I do like having the option to lime fields now. I think it looks kind of cool, and it's just that one extra step. Um, 
The weeds, I'm still not sure of. <laughs> the weeds drive me a little bit bonkers. There's just so many weeds in this game right now. Oh, man. Yeah, like, they just constantly... It seems like they just, they just grow too fast sometimes. So you really have to be on top of it. Um, the lime, yeah, I don't mind the lime. The lime's all right. Plowing the fields, that's still... Yeah, I haven't had to plow a full field yet. Oh, yeah, I'm not looking forward to plowing. Well, even this size, like, that's going to be a lot of work. That is going to be a lot of work. Anyways, so we're going to keep on cultivating this. And like I said, once this gets cultivated, I would like to plant... I think the sunflower seeds is kind of where I'm going on this on this uh, particular field. Something a bit different. Uh, boom, boom, boom. You say, I say, hey, yo, hey, yo. <laughs> uh, back up we go. Oh, I missed that by a mile. There we go. So we'll fire on this one. Uh, like I said, I think I'm going to hire a worker on this, and I need to start purchasing some equipment that are going to, that's going to allow us to make that road. Um, so maybe we can get the... What's our other tractor? Is it a 6M? I think it's a 6M. And uh, we can start getting it on that. So let's, uh, let's get a worker going here. He should be able to plow through this, <laughs> plow through this uh, pretty quick. All right, guys, so we've got our equipment waiting for us down at the old shop. Uh, yeah, we're going to see how this is going to work out. Um, like I said, oop, knocked over that sign. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, yeah, we'll see. So I need I needed to get a plow anyways. Um, that's something I was going to need regardless. So I hope this is going to work on helping us make a little bit of dirt road. And if it works well, we may increase and may do it a little bit bigger I don't know we'll see um, so we've got our plow there and we also have I think it's a disc harrower it's called you know what I've never used one of these before but it looks like it'll do what I think it's going to do uh, once we plow it's just gonna kind of cultivate the field we'll see we'll give it a shot but we need to take this back first can I put this on the front it's, um, not on this tractor I cannot that's for sure that's right, I do not have a three-point uh, connection point on the front of this tractor. So that's not going to work. So we'll take this back. Um, and I'll probably send someone with a pickup truck to go pick that harrower up. Um, yeah, we'll send somebody down to go grab that in a sec. But uh, we'll go take a look and see how we're going to handle making this road on that spot I was talking about a bit earlier there. So, uh, yeah, let's go take a look at that spot and we'll see what we can do. All right, guys, so this here is the whole area I was talking about. Um, like in between here, this is our farm shop. This is the workshop for the vehicles, basically. Um, this here area, I use this all the time just to drive through, and I wanted to make a bit of a dirt road through it. So this is kind of my testing area to see if this is going to work, and then we'll see maybe over back to the back shop there. Maybe we can make another dirt road at some point, but um, I'm not sure if this is going to work, but we'll see. Why not? So we'll get a plow down. Um, I should have picked a smaller plow, but I'm kind of cheap and I didn't want to buy two. <laughs> okay, so that's going to go there. And now we can plow, right? Yeah, yeah, we can plow. All right, so we're going to take this all the way up. And we're just going to go straight to the road. Oh, it looks like I missed a little bit of a spot there. We'll see if we can fix that in a second. And we want to get this right up to the road. Without going on the road, obviously. Alright, so we got that. I'm happy with that. Now let's spin this around. Oh, that was going to somebody's crop. Oh, I just bent that one guy. That was it. <laughs> and we're going to do the same thing going back down. Let's see now if I can line it up because this is kind of like the perfect the perfect width to be perfectly honest yeah I'm digging the width that is what I want right there that is fantastic all right now hopefully I can get this little corner piece I don't know if I can because it might be part of the placeable does it let me do that no it doesn't Alright, so, now that part has been done. I like that. 
Let's just put our plow uh, over here for now. And now you know why I have the extra space purchased in the back there, because <laughs> I've got more toys to mess around with. All right, so now let's see what this disc here. Eh, maybe it might help us to do to make this road. What do you guys think? It's gonna work for me. I don't know. I have never used one before. Uh, let's see. All right, so that's dropped. We're gonna start right on the edge here. And go to town. <laughs> All right, perfect. And we'll go back down the other side. Excellent. All right, so now we have a bit of a dirt road that leads right into our farm. I like that. Yeah, it's okay. That's all right. I'll live with that. What do you guys think? That'll work. Nice little dirt road. Shouldn't grow on it. Perfect. Um, and now we got a couple new toys as well. I don't know how this thing's kind of interesting. It looks like you can kind of move pretty quick around with it if you desire. Um, yeah, anyways, I do need to see if I can fix this one piece right here. When I built this silo, uh, it took part of my field. I don't know if I'm going to be able to cultivate there or not, or cultivate plow that or not, but that's something I need to test and see if it'll work. I'm hoping it will work. All right, guys, so we've got that roadway done. Uh, you know what, we're going to go check on uh, our buddy out in the field there and see how his plowing is going. He's got to be getting close. And then we're going to get to seeding. So I'm just going to put this equipment away and we'll go check on uh, go check on him out in the field there. Alright, look at this. Let's try out our new path into the farm. <laughs> well, that's okay. We need to do some work with some placeables in here. We'll see if we can fix it a little bit, but that's not bad. I can live with that. Um, I also wanted to get rid of some of the grass over here. Now, if you remember, this whole area kind of had a bunch of grass in it. it made it kind of tough to tell where we were going, so I put just... I thought dug the grass up for now. We'll see what we're going to do with this later on. But, uh... Yeah, we got, we're back down to some soil, cultivated earth, I guess. Yeah, that's all right. Better than the grass. Um, now, I've taken this parking spot up for this cultivator... Eh, I shouldn't have done that. Yep, yeah, shouldn't have done that. Oh, good. I left the tractor running. I can move some stuff around. That's good. So I've got uh, two little cultivators here now. I'm going to get rid of that little one, I think. I'll sell that off probably today. I don't need that. I don't need that. I've got the big cultivator that's... Oh. Oh. Oh, really? I didn't know I could pick them both up. That's interesting. I did not know that. So you must be able to have... Uh, all right, so you get a cedar or something behind that. It's an interesting concept. All right. Good to know. Anyways, let's uh, put this over here. For now, and we'll just back this in. Now, what I need to take care of next... Now, the 6M, I'm, or the 6M, the 6, 7R, I'm running this thing a little bit ragged. Ugh. Like, I am beating the snot out of it, to be honest with you. Uh, let's put it right there. Sure. <laughs> Did I just put it? No, I didn't. Good. Um, I mean, look at our, our maintenance is already down past half on this thing. I am running, yeah, five and a half hours. It's not the only tractor I'm using for anything kind of work right now, just because it's got the power. Uh, we better turn that one off. We don't want to leave this guy running, do we? Uh, we can park him back here in front of the weeder. All right, there we go. So, um, we're going to need to fix him up. But uh, let's get the, done this harvesting first. Harvesting this seeding, planting. So, like I said, we're going to go with sunflower in this field. Oh, dirt road. Sweet. <laughs> um, the nice thing about this planter is it fertilizes as well. So, we're going to do some fertilizing and planting right off the hop with this one. Boom. 
and it will take us next to no time because it is fairly good size. Alright. I do like it. Oh yeah, I think it's so cool. Alright, and let's go. Uh, right to the edge, looks good. And fire away. I do like the look of this planter. This thing is pretty cool looking. Um, too bad it wasn't a cultivator too. Just plants, unfortunately. Oh, and I'm missing a whole bunch here because I'm down too low. There we go. Yeah, that thing is pretty cool. So, like I said, fertilizing and planting in one swoop. Just doesn't do cultivation, which is okay. That's why we did the cultivating beforehand. Uh, but now we are planting. Planting good. Cool. So this should only take a couple of passes on this. This shouldn't take too, too long. But we should have sunflowers planted. Nothing else looks like it's ready to be harvested yet. So uh, at least that's kind of a plus. Oh, I'm missing a whole bunch here. Darn it. <laughs> All right, there we go. Back on track. So, uh, yeah, let's see if I can spin this round properly. You gotta watch, this road is actually pretty busy right in here. I always end up getting stuck on cars. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like our worker missed this part. Uh, he missed a couple parts in here. Look at that. Uh, I'm going to need to, uh, you know what, I can't have that. I can't have that. I can fix that manually. I noticed that with the corn as well. I know um, a few people have been making comments on that that workers tend to miss some sections and I always chalked it up to being a maintenance issue because I have seen that but this cedar is relatively new so I can't see it being the cedar or the planter. Um, so that would surprise me a little bit if that was the case. It seems like it's always at the end. So when we go, you, know, you can see from here, actually, the cornfield, I had a worker take care of that, and it's missing. There's little spotches all over the place near the ends. I don't know why, but they are doing that. And it's driving me a little bit crazy because I want to figure it out. Anyways, we're going to hire someone here. They can finish off this field for us. And uh, yeah, we've got some other stuff to take care of. Anyways, let's go back to the farm while he's working away here. I still love this thing. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go check out the farm. Right back. You guys just missed it. There's a couple guys here from uh, Goham Co. Black suits. Pretty sure they were packing heat, to be honest with you. But I don't know. Um, they were asking about the black trucks that we kind of sold yesterday to pick up our Chev and Dolly. You guys remember that? Anyways. Um, Apparently those trucks were not part of the gift deal when we got the uh, the John Deere. I don't know what's going on. So we might have sold uh, DJ's trucks. I feel a little bit bad. <laughs> I do feel a little bit bad. Um, but there's not much I can do now. Uh, yeah, there's not much that I'm going to be able to do. Because the trucks are gone, aren't they? Like, they were sold. So... I need to figure something out for DJ. I feel a little bit bad. Well, not too bad, but enough. <laughs> I mean, he did give us a whole bunch of nice stuff. And I'm really appreciative of that. But I, I maybe he should have let a, let a letter or told someone that, uh, yeah, those trucks were not part of the deal, you would think. Oops. Um, anyways. So what I was thinking, let's just open this here up. We've got this old uh, bale breaker here, the straw thresher bale breaker. Yeah, we're not using it anymore because DJ bought us a brand new one, which is, well, you can see it, it's right there. Um, I think I'm gonna give this to DJ because I feel bad and you know what? This might help him get into animals and because I know he was talking like he wanted to get some horses after he went for the ride on mine. Um, it sounds like that might be something that he's interested in. So let's get uh, let's get this this going to him. All right. So let's see. I'm just gonna drop this here for now. Oh, not that. Not that. 
that's what I want to drop. I don't need the weight. I'm not picking up uh, any bales. We're going to see if we can get this thing up on our trailer for transportation here. Yeah, there we go. So DJ, I don't know. I think he'll appreciate having this. I'll at least get him started, right? And then if he wants, he can come over to my farm and try out the new one. And yeah, that should be nice, right? Oh, now the problem is going to be me backing this thing on here. Oh, just off just a touch. Let's see if we can straighten her out. There we go. I think... Nope. 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 I'm having a bit of a tough time because the back tires kind of articulate as well. And they always end up turning you about twice as far as you expect. Get on there. Oh, no, no, no. I need you to stay straight for me. Really, I'm not that bad of a driver. <laughs> awesome. All right. So he's got that set up. Um, let me get this hooked back up again. That's not bad. Uh, we got a bit of a drive for that, so we'll go. We'll do that drive at the end here. Uh, once the day is kind of wrapped up, we got to finish off this other field. Still, uh, looks like he's still working away over there. Eh, it shouldn't take too long. We're gonna go check on the rest of our fields. Like I said, we've got our livestock and our horses are all good for the day. Uh, we can close this one up. We don't need to get back into this side of the shop for now. Boom. Um, yeah, we fixed this one all up, so it's in brand new shape for them now. It's all good to go. Our horses are good. Uh, our cows are good. I don't think there's anything we need to do here. Yeah, everything's looking really, really good. Let me go check on the other fields, and we'll see if there's anything else that needs to ha happen. But uh, this here, we need to take over to DJ next. So we'll be doing that shortly as well. Perfect. So he is all finished up. Look at this. Um, I had to go back in and do a bunch of his work, as usual. These planters suck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just giving me grief. So, that field is done. We now have... Uh, is this on? It sounds like it's on. I don't think it is. Um, so, that there is ready to go with sunflowers. That's our first new plant in a little bit. So, that should be good. Look at me. I'm using this road constantly. <laughs> I just need to smooth it out somehow. Look at everything's bouncing around there. Uh, we have got... Yeah, we got the uh, trailer all ready to go for DJ... Yeah, he's going to love that, I'm sure. I'm sure he'll be very appreciative. Um, boom, boom, boom. Uh, where did I put this? It's over on this side, that's right. So we'll put this away again. Now, it's a bit of a trek. I hope, yeah, we should be able to get there today. But uh, we'll go and see if we can find at least the neighborhood where... Uh, where DJ lives. I don't know if we can just leave it outside where his house is, maybe? I don't know. We'll go take a look so we can find. I need to get this in here. Come on. There we go. Perfect. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, and that is going to do that. We're good there. I think Elsa's looking really good here, to, uh, guys. Like, today was not a bad day for around the farm. Oh, I'm not going to feel I fit that in there. That's a bit too tight. Uh, I'll just stick it over on this side here. Um, I think tomorrow we might be getting into looking at uh, getting some stuff for milk and, uh, I don't know, maybe some slurry, that kind of stuff. We'll see. We've got a lot of harvesting that's going to be coming up in a short little bit. So, oops. That's going to be... Uh, Oh, come on. Come on out. It's going to be on top of mine very soon. Uh, we have, I think, three or four fields that all need to be harvested. So that is coming up really, 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 really quickly. All right. So what do you guys think the odds this is going to stay on for this trip? We'll raise that back end up. Yes. Yes, we did. All right. All right. Perfect. So we got a bit of a trip. Um, but it is worth it. And hopefully this kind of gets DJ off our back for um, selling his stuff. <laughs> and I mean, we didn't really sell it. 
we traded it in on a nice new truck, right? I, I think that's a fair trade or fair deal. Uh, yeah, down over here. Whoa. I just can't drive, that's all. All right, so we will cruise over. Uh, I don't know. I think we're just going to go right to... to to his place. I know I know it was his thugs from the uh the Goham Co, but yeah, we'll go right to the source. I don't wanna be messing around with these I gotta quit doing that. Going right inside the thing. Ah the camera in this sometimes I tell ya. Ooh, don't what don't lose our load. Don't lose it. Ah. I guess I am doing like, oh, it's only 60 kilometers an hour. It's not like I'm going that fast. We're buying. We're passing. We're passing. Oh, oh we're going to be in trouble. Oh, there we go. Perfect. All right. So no trains. No, no trains. Nobody's coming. A little rolling stop. You guys didn't see that, right? Perfect. All right. So we are on the road. We're heading to DJ's place. I'll see you guys once we get there. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's go. All right, so we have made it to town. Just pulling in. Um, yeah, I know I've been to his place once before. But I don't know. Things look like they might, should be the same, right? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Whoa, got to watch that camera. Hey, there goes the train. Train, train, train. All right, so, yeah, we're going to town right here. Uh, oh, slow her down. Gotta watch out for this. Nope. <laughs> uh, good thing I got this truck. She's tough. She can handle it. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. And then we need to go down this way here. All right, so I think he's got, from what I remember, his company's kind of down below now. He's got a company of some sort. Ah, we're going to drop this off at his ranch. Um, that'll just be a lot easier than dealing with anything else. Um, where does this go? Yeah, it's got to be down here, right? Yeah, there we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Make that corner. Oh, that was close. <laughs> you know, it's just easier to stay in first-person view when you have collisions on. I just keep on colliding with the uh, stuff on the trailer, and that's kind of annoying. So, let's see. Let's see how fast we can get going here. <laughs> that's all. Oh. all right. It's only 15 kilometers an hour, miles an hour. What are we doing? 80, it's 83 kilometers. That's the same thing. All right. So, his farm should be just around the corner. Here we are. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's is what I remember. DJ's farm. Oh. Yeah, this looks like the place, guys. Definitely looks like the place. Oh, look, he's got all his case equipment down here. See, last time I was here, it was all John Deere. Hmm. Oh, he's got a little horse pen down here, even. Look at that. Well, you know what? I know he's... See, he's already getting into animals, so... We better help him out. We'll definitely drop this off here. Um, let's see. Where can we put this so that he doesn't lose it? Let's, um... Hmm, maybe we'll hook it up to his truck. That sounds like a good thing, eh? <laughs> what has he got? Oh, he's got a telehandler. Perfect. Let's, uh... Use this. He won't mind, right? Man, he's got a lot of equipment. Where does this guy get his bunny from? Ooh, the bale forks. Ooh, I didn't know that. Think this is going to lift this thing off here? I don't know if it will, but we're going to find out. <laughs> Perfect. Just like I wanted. That is actually pretty good. <laughs> that worked out way better than I thought it was going to work out. Come on. Well, I say that now, and now I'm stuck on it. Come on. Let go. Let go, I say. Let go. Thank you. All right. So that is there. Um, 
I don't see anything else that's uh, really... You know what? Let's just get rid of this here. We'll put this over on the other side here. Because we don't need that. Uh, you know, it's good to know what he's got sitting around just in case one of these days we want to mess with him a little bit, but it'll be nice for now. But, uh, you know what? <laughs> Looks like he's been using this a lot lately. We'll hook this up to it. <laughs> he can use this to move it around when he gets ready. And... Oh, yeah. Perfect. And we'll just leave this right on his front doorstep, so whenever he comes home... Should we take a look inside the house, see what he's got going on in there? You know, we've got to peek inside, right? DJ, are you a surfer? Huh. Interesting. You must be a surfer. It's kind of a dump, I'm not going to lie. Ah, let's take his... It's got a... It's too bad there wasn't a basketball net out here. Hmm. Oh, well, we can do the old shot into... Oh, I lost the ball. There it is. There it is, there it is. Come on, pick it up. The old shot into the truck, maybe? Oh, I missed. Anyways, we better get out of here before someone busts us. <laughs> uh, look at all he's got going on down here now. That's great. He's got the horses going. Well, you know what? Maybe he will appreciate that bale breaker or that uh, that uh, food mixer. He might just think that's perfect. Cool. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for us today. Thanks for coming along for the ride. As always, uh, if you did like this video, make sure you hit that like button, that big old thumbs up button. I appreciate that. Of course, if you're not a subscriber, make sure you do subscribe. And as always, guys, I hope you have a fantastic day. Oh, my God, I'm on two wheels. <laughs> What a save. What a save. Uh, once again, this is Clutch. Over and out.